It's all around us. But how much do we really know about it? Where did it start? And how did it change from simple life forms to the complex ones that are familiar to us today? Today we will take a brief look into these questions and discuss what we have learned through scientific research and analysis. From what we have been able to study so far, we believe that life began to form in the Archaean Era, which started about 4 billion years ago and ended about 2.5 billion years ago. The continents were still young and in the process of solidifying. Plate tectonics had started to become more prevalent around this time and were moving the continents faster than they do today. As a result, volcanoes were more active and spewed carbon compounds and water into the atmosphere, which quickly condensed to form the oceans. The atmosphere during this time contained a lot of methane, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. This formed a chemical mixture called a reducing environment, which means that it can make electrons available for chemical reaction. This was good news for the molecules, that would eventually become biological molecules, because it meant that they would be able to react with each other and become more complex. With the lack of oxygen in the atmosphere, and with carbon dioxide and methane being greenhouse gases, the Earth was much hotter, even though the Sun was younger and fainter. The atmosphere during this period was far more akin to Venus than what we are used to. So what changed? Life happened. At some point in the hot ocean, biological molecules with the information to copy themselves and the chemical ability to do so formed organic compounds. These became in encapsulated in an oily membrane that kept them safe from the outside world and were the first things to resemble a living cell. The life forms found in the earliest fossils were called stromatolites. Stromatolites are made up of layers left behind by films of bacteria. Stromatolites were the most abundant life form until grazing animals evolved, which means they basically ruled the earth for three billion years. Some scientists think that life solely used RNA, the molecule DNA uses to send messages out of a cell's nucleus. This is called the RNA world hypothesis. RNA is similar to DNA, except it's easier to make. RNA stores information like DNA, but it can tangle itself into shapes that make it easier to create chemical reactions, the way proteins do now. The hypothesis would explain why RNA is used today. Other scientists believe that it would have been too difficult for life to switch from RNA to DNA and protein, and that there is a greater likelihood that all three evolved together. Whether life started with RNA or not, by the time the most common ancestor for all life as we know it came along, it was in use. In any case, the evidence shows that life formed when Earth was about 1 billion years old, which is pretty impressive, especially given the atmosphere and the, and the oceans were still forming. This shows us that maybe life forming wasn't exactly hard. What would have been hard was for this life to stay alive once oxygen started filling the atmosphere. A few kinds of microorganisms make up stromatolites, and one of them is cyanobacteria, and they are pretty special. Instead of requiring energy from their environment, they could capture energy from the sun. They could photosynthesize. This process has a nasty byproduct, oxygen one of the most greedy electron-stripping elements. The cyanobacteria started to pump oxygen like there was no tomorrow, and for many of the anaerobic or oxygen-intolerant life forms, there was no tomorrow. They were not used to oxygen and couldn't handle it. It was poison to them. It reacted with them and destroyed them. This opened a path for life forms that are more recognisable to us and allowed them to, to become more complex. These life forms would eventually evolve into the many branches of life that we know today, from plants to animals to fungi and more.